Welcome to the Grammarians Dex. So today we are going to be spanning from several issues relating to wrongly used expressions on English and mispronounced words, um, grammatical blunders, and lots more. So how do we begin today? Let's start by considering some expressions that people make without knowing that they are actually passing another information or they are actually passing another semantic. They are meaning a different thing altogether, but they are not aware. Like we used to say, we do not blame them simply because they are not grammarian. If you want to cut something into two equal parts, into two equal parts, you wouldn't say you want to cut that thing into two. Because when you cut into two, you could cut into two on equal parts. So when you want to cut into two equal parts, you say cut in two, not into two, but in two. I've also heard people say, I want to go to the babin salon. The babin salon. It's wrong to just oppose babin and salon. What that is right for that particular place where guys go to have a haircut is referred to as the barber shop. So you are simply going to the barber shop to have a haircut. You are going to the barber shop to have a haircut. And you don't go to the barber shop to barb your hair. When you say to barb your hair, you are simply making a wrong inference. The meaning is deterred. It would mean that you are the one to uh, you know, cut your hair yourself. But when you say you are going to the barber's shop to have your hair cut or to get an, a, a haircut, it will mean that the barber will be the one to do justice to your hair. Also, I also hear people say, uh, stuck in your shirt. Stuck in your shirt. You don't stuck in your shirt or your blouse. What you do is to tuck it in. T U C K. You tuck in your shirt and, or you tuck in your blouse. Uh, uh, okay, let us consider some of the words that people wrongly uh, pronounce. Uh, like we used to say, these people are not uh, grammarians and we do not actually blame them for them. And these words are just simple words. Okay, let's start with this three letter word, E W E. This word is not a way. This is the young one of a sheep. The young one of a sheep is not a way because it's written E W E and people think it is a way. This word is pronounced as you, 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 just like you. It has same rhyme pattern, same rhyme scheme, same pattern of transcription as this particular word. So this word is pronounced as you. Let's go back and talk about some grammatical expressions that people make and they do not know that they are just blowing it up. You know, it's not their fault. It's not actually their fault. The reason is because they are not grammarians. Now, the space between between your space is not your open tit. I hear people say, I have an open tit. It's not referred to as open tit. You simply refer to it as interdental space or dental space or dental lacuna. Or you refer to it as gap tit. Gap tit. Not open teeth. If you find this video useful, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to get more videos. We actually apologize for inconsistency over some time. Uh, our gadgets were having issues and we are back for the better. Thank you and have yourself a blessed day.